guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix error message. Windows could not start the WLAN autoconfig service. When attempting to connect to a wireless internet connection, users have experienced getting Windows could not start the WLAN autoconfig service error, thereby preventing access to the internet via the WLAN adapter. For today's video, we will show you several troubleshooting solutions that you can do to fix this error. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, disable airplane mode. The very first thing that you need to do is check whether airplane mode is enabled. When enabled, all communication functions will be disabled. That is why it is likely possible for the error to appear. Make sure airplane mode is disabled and then check if error message still appears. Second solution, make sure network adapter is enabled. If network adapter is disabled, likewise, the WLAN configuration of your device will not be able to communicate to the Wi-Fi network driver, causing the error to appear. Enable network adapter and then check if error message still appears. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter. At Device Manager, click Network Adapter to expand it. Right-click on Network Adapter and then select Enable Device from the drop-down menu. Exit Device Manager window and then check if the error message still appears. Third solution, reinstall Network Adapter. A corrupt or outdated Network Adapter can also cause network-related issues. In this case, getting error message when trying to connect to a network. To fix this, you may need to reinstall Network Adapter. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter. Then click on Network Adapter to expand it. Then right-click Wi-Fi Adapter and then select Uninstall Device from the drop-down menu. Wait for the uninstall process to complete. Exit Device Manager window. Next, restart your computer. Once computer completely reboots, Windows will automatically detect and install available drivers. Then check if the issue still occurs. Fourth solution, Run Network Troubleshooter or utilizing Windows. Built-in Troubleshooter tool is another solution that you can try to fix network-related issues, hence getting the error message. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. At Run dialog box, type MS settings, troubleshoot and press enter. At right pane, click additional troubleshooters. Click Internet Connections, then click Run the Troubleshooter tab. Windows will now detect problems. Follow the on-screen instructions to continue with the troubleshoot process. After running Troubleshooter, check if issue is resolved. If not, proceed to the next solution. Fifth solution, set WLAN. Auto Config to Automatic. Setting WLAN Auto Config service to automatic ensures that the service will connect to the network when accessed. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. At Run dialog box, type services.msc and press Enter. Then at Services Windows, scroll down and locate WLN Autoconfig. Right-click on the service and select Properties. At Properties window, make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic. Click Apply to apply changes made and the click OK to exit. Now check if the error message still appears. Sixth solution, run SFC scan, a corrupt WLAN. Autoconfig service can also be the culprit for the error message to appear. To fix this, try to run SFC or system file checker scan. To do this, type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Click run as administrator from the drop down menu. At command prompt window, type the command SFC scan now and press enter. Wait for SFC scan to complete. Next, restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, check if issue still occurs. And that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.